In this video, we will handle the special case of a current source that is common to two meshes. The circuit shown is planar. It has three meshes defined by the mesh currents I1, I2, and I3. The 5 ampere current source is common to the meshes defined by the currents I1 and I2 and it requires special processing because we cannot write the voltage across the source in terms of the mesh currents and other known element values. However, by looking at the direction of current flow, we can write that the 5 ampere source is equal to the currents I2 minus I1. And this is the first equation that will be useful in mesh analysis for this circuit. We begin mesh analysis by writing KVL for the mesh defined by the current I1. We have a voltage drop of 30 I1 across the 30 ohm resistor. We cannot write the voltage across the current source in terms of mesh currents and other element values. So we will introduce an unknown variable Vx across the voltage source with the polarity shown and it follows the passive sign convention for the source. To complete the KVL for mesh defined by current I1, we have a voltage rise which is given with a minus sign and we write down Vx is equal to zero to satisfy KVL for this mesh. We will write KVL for the mesh defined by the current I2. This time we have a voltage drop of Vx. Voltage drops are given with a positive sign. We write down plus Vx plus another voltage drop of 7.2 I2 and finally another voltage drop of 64 times I2 minus I3 and this must be equal to zero to satisfy KVL. We can add these two KVL equations to eliminate Vx and we will get 30I1 plus 7.2I2 plus 64I2 minus I3 is equal to zero. This is the second equation that will be useful in mesh analysis. Writing KVL for the last mesh defined by the current I3, we will get a voltage drop of 64 multiplied by I3 minus I2 plus another voltage drop of 6I3 and finally the last voltage drop of 10I3 is equal to zero to satisfy KVL. And this is the third equation that will be used in mesh analysis. We have three equations and three unknowns. The solution will give us I1 is equal to minus 2 amperes, I2 is equal to 3 amperes, and I3 is equal to 2.4 amperes. And we can calculate any other current or voltage in this circuit if needed. To summarize the analysis of a circuit with a current source common to two meshes, we introduce a circuit variable the voltage across this current source. Write the KVL equations for the two meshes which have the current source in common and add the two KVL equations to eliminate the voltage across the current source. We will end up with the same number of equations as unknowns and they can be solved for all the mesh currents. The same circuit can be analyzed by using a concept called the super mesh which we will show next. This circuit is the same one as we just solved and we have a current source 5 amperes that is common to two meshes that is defined by the currents I1 and I2. We will consider a super mesh to be a combination of these two meshes and the circulating current in these two meshes is flowing in the direction shown. Note carefully that the current flowing at different points in the super mesh is different. The first equation is the relationship between I1 and I2 which is the same as given previously that 5 amperes is equal to I2 minus I1. We will also define the current through the third mesh as I3. We write the KVL for the super mesh which is a combination of the meshes defined by the currents I1 and I2 and it will give us a voltage drop of 30 I1 across the 30 ohm resistor plus a voltage drop of 7.2 I2 across the 7.2 ohm resistor and finally a voltage drop of 64 I2 minus I3 across the 64 ohm resistor and this must be equal to zero to satisfy KVL. This is the second equation that we need for the solution of the circuit. 
The last equation is the KVL for the mesh defined by the current I3 and it will give us a voltage drop of 64 I3 minus I2 plus a voltage drop 6 I3 plus a voltage drop 10 I3 is equal to zero. And this is the third equation that we need. These three equations are the same as the ones we obtained earlier and their solution will also be the same for the mesh currents I1, I2 and I3. To summarize the concept of a super mesh, we carefully write KVL for the two meshes that have the current source in common, making sure that the current flowing in different elements will be different at different points in the super mesh. You can use either one of these two methods to handle a current source that is common to two meshes. You can either introduce a voltage across the current source and then eliminate this voltage by adding the KCL equations for the two meshes. Or you can use the super mesh concept to write one KVL equation which will give you the same results.